It's been many years since Conrad Models made a new trailer model for Notabome, and in 2017 this model was released. It's an MCS semi-low loader, and it comes in a high quality box. And when we open it up it's real presentation quality with nice black foam. As you can see there are a couple of things to look at before we look at the model. And as this is one of the Notabome Redline series it comes with a plastic collector card although it's not uniquely numbered. And there's a nice little manual with the model. More than half of it is devoted to the real trailer with information about it and some nice photos. And it's always good to have that kind of information included with a model. The rest of the manual describes the model and it covers the main features of the trailer and any parts that have to be added. The truck is an MAN TGX XXL. And as usual for a Conrad model, we need to attach the mirrors and aerials. First up, there's a bit of manual labour involved though, as you have to separate the parts. As you do that, you can't help wondering whether the mirrors on real trucks have to be separated by giant hands. And then in a the factory, the giant hands get to pre-assemble some mirrors. The thing is though, where in the real factories do they find people with hands as big as these? To fit the mirrors on the cab they fit into preformed holes and it's a decent tight fit which is a good thing because then they won't drop out and get lost. The roof aerials are made of quite soft plastic so it helps to get a pair of tweezers just to push them in the holes. So the MAN tractor is ready let's reverse it up to the trailer and then clunk click does the trick as we push the kingpin of the trailer into the fifth wheel of the tractor. We are nearly done but there's a few more bits to add and one of those is a cover on the toolbox of the gooseneck and there are also some marker boards that we can fit but firstly we have to disconnect those from the moulding sprues. Two of them slot into holders on each side of the gooseneck and you have to push them hard to get them in the first time. There are two more which clip at the back but for now we'll carry them in the gooseneck box. The MAN has plastic suspension parts, but because of the functionality of the second axle, there's no drive shaft modelled. The MAN looks really smart in the redline colour scheme, and it's nice that it has colour coded door mirrors and a number plate. There's also a unique T number for this redline model. The wheels look smart and the wheel arches are plastic, but there are no coiled lines behind the cab. The underside of the trailer has some good detailing. Tanks and wheel chocks are visible, and the landing legs are in tough grey plastic. The gooseneck has got a spare wheel and there's also a unique Redline series trailer number. There's a yellow stripe on the deck edge and nicely textured surfaces, and the model reflects the hardwood timber deck variant of the real trailer. There's also some nice detailing at the back, and that includes a number plate. <laughs> As usual we'll start by testing out the tractor on the cranes etc test track and it rolls well in a straight line. Conrad trucks usually have very good steering angles and this one is no exception and there's also steering on axle 2 although it's not linked to axle 1. When set the MAN can make a nice tight turn. It is a 6x2 truck so axle 2 is not driven and if we check it's got sprung suspension and that's because it can be clipped up out of service. So there's no need to wear out your tyres unnecessarily, and the height of lift is good, and axle 2 doesn't turn when it's raised. You might want to take a look at the engine, and you're able to do that by tilting the cab, but the tilting mechanism doesn't feel like it wants to be tilted too far, so you can't really pose it in a tilted position. So let's move on to this new trailer from Conrad. And as you would expect, it rolls well enough in a straight line, although the axles do want to steer. Let's take a look underneath and see what we've got, and it's good that each of the axles has its own independently sprung suspension. And as was hinted at a minute ago, the axles do steer. They are linked proportionally, so the rear axle steers the most. And when you set the steering, the trailer does a good job of turning. Staying underneath there are a couple of other things to look at, one is the landing legs at the front and they are simple pull down plastic pistons. 
For use when loading the trailer there are also some fold down landing legs at the rear and they work easily and well enough. So let's move on to some other functionality and this trailer is all about carrying things so to get things on board we can lower the ramps at the rear and they are folding and lower nicely. So now we can drive our load up onto the trailer deck and for this purpose here we see a caterpillar grader. This is powered by a giant hand engine at the back which pushes it along. But one thing we see is that the grader is a bit long to fit on the trailer but this one has an interesting way of getting around that problem and that's because it has a hydraulically adjustable load floor. That lets the grader drive on and make use of the gooseneck. So now with the machine on board we can close the ramps fully. So this trailer has got an interesting and unusual piece of functionality. So let's take another look and see it in action. And actually to give you even more space on the trailer deck, you can remove the sides of the gooseneck storage box. So on this model they're already fitted and you have to remove them, whereas on other models they're not fitted and you have to add them. The last thing to examine a bit closer is the folding ramps and they also slide so you can close them up or widen them out depending on the piece of equipment you want to put on your trailer. It has been many years since Conrad have produced a trailer model for Notabohm and they've done a very nice job with this one. The detailing is nice but it's the functionality that really scores well and it's a very nicely presented model which is good value. So overall it's easy to rate this model as very good.